Welcome everyone, my name is Comet and today I have for you a really cool replay from an attack that I did earlier and I wanted to share it with you because I think this shows really well the power of the P.E.K.K.A and the wizard army. This is a really straightforward attack and really powerful as well for Town Hall 9. In fact, on the recent tournaments, this has gone um, basically undefeated. It will 3-star almost any base if you play, play it correctly. And today I have for you a really cool example from a diamond shape base right here on Town Hall 9. Now, first off and very importantly, we need to start right here on the top side um close to the um, in fact close to these compartments right here or uh, close to the uh, gold mines so that we can clear the path for the uh, main wall breakers and the main army and that's what i did i went right here as you guys can see with two pekas and i just tried to make a path or clear the path so that the main army can't go in without issues just like that and then the attack consists on releasing your army into the center part of the area then one uh, sorry releasing the the army into one of the side of the area so that they can go straight into the center part of the area and for that you we use the jump spell just right that um, just like i did um, this will make the P.E.K.K.A.S. move into the center part, clear the town hall, clear the scat, um, the expos, and start clearing the defenses and the structures around that area while the um, funneling happens on the outside. You guys can see my little P.E.K.K.A. on the side right here is still going and clearing out the, um, the, the sector. However, I did have to drop a healing spell, I think I kind of misclick a bit or misposition it a bit because I I wanted to have it closer to the um, elixir storage right here. Uh, that way I can heal for more because the expos are hitting my P.E.K.K.A.S. Uh, and this time it is important to drop the um, healing spell because otherwise the P.E.K.K.A.S. will die really fast. And because she, uh, th this person had the queen on the or close to the town hall i release my army of skeletons so you guys can see over here that way the uh, the skeletons can distract the queen and i can use the pekas to kill her or um to continue destroying the other side uh, or the other circles around it so let's continue look at the little skeletons then as they continue moving forward it is important to start cleaning these areas uh, on the outside such as the um, uh, the archer towers right here because otherwise that will make the queen go to the outside and rather stay inside the base so uh, that's why i sent my wizards over there and then i sent um baby dragon if i remember correctly on the top side yeah look at that my wizards destroyed that the Pekas are going and are, are doing pretty well in the center. And now the baby dragon goes into the top side, followed by some archers to just support them. And from here, most of the base is gone. And I just I, I, I had to do is focus on clean on the cleanup. And the cleanup is extremely important. Now I will say something. This base did not have the king because it was upgraded and the queen was low level. However, my king was not available neither, and I'm not using clan troops neither. So this is the perfect sample to show, um, I think, the basics of these attacks, you know. You try to send the Pekas inside the base, they will destroy most of the base, and then you clean the outside with your queen and the remaining Pekas of the attack. So that's what I tried to do. I did release, you know, the baby dragon... Um, the little archers and a minion to help cleaning on the outside and they did quite well over there while the queen still cleaning the stuff um in the middle part at the moment and then she will transition on going into the um, outer side of the base so that we can have a nice end game now at this point most of my stuff are gone but there's nothing really to threaten my little pekka which is always good 
because now she can go and clear this uh, sector by herself with the help of eventually of the queen um and actually she she did struggle a bit on breaking that wall but this is why you take a, a jump 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 spells in this in the center area because it will allow you to clear that and here the pekka put a lot of work because she was tanking for my queen all the way until the end so huge huge shout out to my little pekka I love these little things and here look at that she starts tanking oh no that's actually the queen who is tanking there now she tanks the um, the archer tower the uh, teslas and my queen is able to finish everything the good thing is that i didn't pop the ability in the center area otherwise this would have been a failed attack i would say something if you have a golem, that will make your attack so much more powerful. Uh, so you can drop a few troops in favor of a golem if you want. Um, because having the golem really makes sure that you will have an easy way inside the base. Um, and if you have a golem from your clan castle troop, that's what you want to play for war attacks. Um, that really is the basics and um, the queen the, the queen always must try to go or you should try to send the queen always towards the center part of the area because what she will do is she will start clearing the um, structures that are behind the walls while the pekas clear the things that are inside the walls and therefore they will serve as a um, as protection for the queen and eventually you will be able to clean the entire base with her. So this, I think this was a really nice attack, um, really cool, and it gets even better once you have your king, once you have your uh, golem, or your clan castle golem, or both, actually, if you have two golems. I, I don't think, in fact, if I had two golems right here, I would have to restart this base so fast that even if they had max queen, max king, uh, and, cl and, cl and clan castle troops the, uh, it wouldn't matter because the golems are so tanky they can two golems can tank the scatter shots for ages <laughs> like really they they will not struggle at all on this stuff so let me know if you like these type of videos um i enjoy doing them quite a lot they're very simple straightforward and i i, I am already playing clash of clans Almost every single, in fact, I'm playing every single day. So, just let me know if you like this type of videos, because if you do, I am going to go and try to bring this format more often. For now, though, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Comet, and I am signing out. Peace.